Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really great. Thank you so much for clicking on the second video that we are doing on my channel tonight. And it is one on <laughs> Mr. Jason Nash. So everyone buckle in, it's going to be a very exciting one. <laughs> Okay, so I started talking about what was going on with Jason Nash um, a couple of weeks ago because I think it's just really interesting and I just can't get over it. So he has rebranded completely because David Dobrik has dropped him. Basically, he hasn't fully dropped him as in they're no longer, it's not a David Dobrik, Jeff Wittick kind of situation. You know, David Dobrik didn't try to kill Jason Nash, you know, the way he did with whatever. It's not like that, but David Dobrik has basically professionally dropped Jason Nash. Um, they used to have a podcast together, which was basically the the peak of Jason Nash's career. Whereas for David Dobrik, you know, it was just another podcast he did. You know, it definitely benefited Jason, but didn't really benefit David. I guess it had some pros for him, but it was basically just for Jason. And when David Dobrik and Jason were so intertwined publicly, obviously Jason, you know, had a good career. And that was when people were interested in him. So when David Dobrik pulls back on hanging out with Jason and doesn't work with him anymore, crickets, crickets. No one is, no one's interacting with Jason Nash. And he has now turned to a new business venture of begging for money. Like, actually begging for money. Like, this is not just, oh, he's just begging for money. No, Jason Nash has went from that to his, his literal job right now is begging for money. He goes live on TikTok for many hours a day. I don't think I've ever opened the app and he's not fucking live. And he will do TikTok battles in which people send money. Like they send little, they click on a little gift and a rose will pop up on the screen for Jason, which means that Jason gets money because the little rose equals so much money or galaxy equals something or fireworks is a certain kind of money. And they range money. It can be like $1 to $1,000. And each of these little things get you money. So Jason has pulled back, does no longer make any other content than begging for money. He goes on and he will be like, guys, five more roses, five more roses, one more lightning, one more firework, one more firework. Come on, let's get one more firework, one more. That's what he does for a job now. Every day, hours on end, because David has dropped him. And one of my recent videos was talking about Jason had done a podcast in which he says, you know, David had the opportunity to make, it was like 50 million or whatever it was by just doing a podcast with me, but he, he doesn't even want to hang out with me for an hour a day. So we all lost 50 million or whatever the deal was. So he comes across as very bitter towards David and I, but I saw these clips that were uploaded from the spill some tea with me at TikTok page. And it is Jason Nash on a podcast, not with David Dobrik though talking about why he only begs for money now, what his job has turned into, is he embarrassed by it? Like, I've seen every creator talk about this now. I mean, I saw Tana Mojo has been talking about it lots and she was like, just start an OnlyFans. Like, that's, you know, less embarrassing. Like, because he's, it's like degrading content. Like, I don't know how people enjoy watching this man just desperately beg for money and then be like, I can't afford, I can't afford my mortgage anymore. I can't afford to feed my kids, but I'll never go into a nine to five job. Like, I don't know how to respond to that. And so Tana made this video where she was like, you know what? It would be less embarrassing for me to see Jason Nash's dick on OnlyFans than for him to continue doing this. Let's get to it. And again, in these videos, he's talking about like why he does it, why he'll never do another job. And it's like, he's very aware of the fact that this is like, lowest let's get to it so shout out to spill some tea with me on tiktok appreciate this um do do any of the does any of the negativity affect you around it no it really doesn't at first it... negativity is in people making fun of him for begging for money on tiktok so when i would see the the comments it did affect me i was like oh man this is bad and then now i've seen every comment and it it's actually made me stronger like I heard the other day, Scott was complaining about a mean comment that he got. And in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, I was like, someone said to Scott, like, you know, your music's so sad. Like, why do you, why don't you try to do some, something more uplifting? Whatever. Uh, mm. So that like grinded his, he bothered him or whatever. Yeah. And I was, I'm sure that's the worst hate comment a member of the vlog squad has ever gotten. It's like, bro, you gotta come on TikTok live. <laughs> you gotta see the real shit. <laughs> And it does, it just makes you stronger. Now look, would I be on TikTok Live if I wasn't in like a financial hole? 
Mm. I don't know. Probably not. But also, like, YouTube wasn't really working, and um, and I needed to find something. So again, this is all stemming from David Dobrik not working with him anymore. It's in, and then in that recent podcast we saw where he was basically speaking dynamite David and all this. I don't like David Dobrik. I do not like David Dobrik. But it is crazy for me for whatever age Jason Nash is to be putting the financial and everything responsibility on someone who is significantly younger than you. Like, hold on, let me... We're going to investigate this. Jason Nash age. He's 50 on the dot. And David Dobrik is 27. Jason Nash is outwardly saying he's refusing to get a job. And it's like, that's a very privileged thing to be able to say. Like, you're like, oh, I'm in a financial rut, but I'm going to beg for money on thing, whatever. But I don't want to get a job. Like, that's such a, normally when you're in a financial rut is when you get a job. And again, him constantly speaking down about David. I do not like David. Do not get me wrong. Is like, well, maybe you shouldn't put all your fucking eggs in the basket of what was like probably a 20 year old whenever you met him. Like, build something for yourself. Like, stop relying or stop being a little like, what is going? I don't get it. OnlyFans. I can't do OnlyFans. They, yeah, they won't well, let I, me on there. <laughs> you know, I've tried. I've tried multiple I've times. Tried. Isn't that the one that got or was dating like a 17 year old? Isn't that Brandon? No, I, I may be wrong. I don't know these people. But wasn't Brandon the one that got with the 17-year-old? I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. A little piece of Vlog Squad lore. I don't know if that's um, him exactly, but I know it was one of them. It might have been him. Let me know down below. They, they said no. Him. No, I, I can't. I don't want to do OnlyFans. Yeah. And and so it was like, all right. And TikTok came to me. They were like, we'll, we'll help you. And I was like, oh, oh, that's good. I was like, okay. And so, yeah. And, and, and it's just like, it is what it is. Do you, you, know? do you have... Um, I, I obviously you're. It is what it is. Like, what do you want us to say? Or first and foremost, but do you also have a north star for yourself? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to make this TV show, and I had a good meeting the other day, and it's like, I do TikTok live, and then that will help the podcast. The podcast is only in its second year, yeah. So I'm like, I'm hoping maybe by the third year it becomes like profitable. Maybe this year it'll become profitable, and so like TikTok live is affording this, and then that's that's my north star. Mm -hmm. um, but but right now I, I pay for my kid's school, which is really expensive, and I pay for this house, and I pay for, and then I have college next year. Yeah. So I'm just like, this is what it is. And then what I try to think about are all the people that love. I don't understand it. Like, you're complaining about all this, and then again, for context, it's important to note that he was throwing David under the bus for no longer working with him anymore. It's like... But you're openly refu you're openly saying, oh, but I would never get a job. I would never get a job. Like, I would never... Get a damn job! Like, before we progress with these, I don't understand people that enjoy watching TikTok live battles in general. I think it's, like, mind-numbing content, and I'm aware I make mind-numbing content. But when I'm watching a creator and I know they're only interacting based on who's spending money on watching them live and they're not really doing anything, they're just being like, thank you, or like shouting their name. Who wants to watch that? More so, <coughs> who wants to watch Jason Nash do it? Who's openly saying that he doesn't want to do it. He's miserable doing it. It's embarrassing for him to do it, but he's begging for the money. Like... Who's, in, who's watching that content? Who is the demographic for that content? Is it children? Or is it, like, teenagers? Or is it, like, adults? Or is it, like... Who's the marketable prof... Like... Live, when I come on, and they're like, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm like, yeah. and I know every name, and I'm like, oh, 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 oh. So you're getting repeat. Yeah, like, yeah. they're eight hours a day, and I'm... Entertaining people, people want to come in, talk. Entertaining, by the way, what he means by that is he only entertains when people donate money and he'll shout their name. And that's the level of entertainment, by the way. I've unfortunately seen many of these live battles. He doesn't entertain, by the way. He waits for people to donate and then he says their name and maybe screams a little bit and then waits for the next one. King. Yeah. I and mean, this is your job. This is what you do. Yeah, what yeah. You've been doing. That's how I see it. 
okay. that's it. And if anybody doesn't like it, it's like, you know, don't. They're probably, like, the people that are saying that probably have conventional jobs, right? They're looking at it like, ugh. Yes. Like, ugh. They can't, they can't do what he does. So they're like, why? Well, then why is he complaining about it so much? Then if you're making the argument, whoever the fuck this is, that, oh, people are jealous of it, then what? Like, shut the fuck up. So they're trying to bring him down, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I challenge anybody to sit there for, for eight hours. It's, it's exhausting. Let's start one. Let's sit here for eight. <laughs> Pull up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? No. Yeah, oh. Jason, it must be so miserable to sit down for eight hours a day and literally make whatever you make by literally just begging. That is not a job. That is not a job. This is this conversation of like content creation and people diminishing people's jobs. I'm aware of that and I don't do that. Jason, what Jason Nash is doing is literally just sitting down and being like, donate, 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 send me money, send me money. That's not working for a job. Like, yeah, you can sit down for eight hours, but... <laughs> Sorry. Um, Excuse please. Uh, no, I'm, no, I, no, I get it. I, I, All right, and then let's get to this one. Do anything. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, like, I don't know. You said earlier, somebody said, um, why doesn't he just get a door dash, whatever? Right. Like, like, do you ever think about going... At, to DoorDash? Or to, like, a, you know, did you ever think about going back to, like, any other job? Or was, like, well, I can't do anything else. Or just, like, I love... Yeah, an electrician, obviously, you do lives with him. Um, I don't know, just... I just never thought... It's, like, it's like it's entertainment or nothing. I don't care what it is. Like, I... What would you suggest I do? No, no, I'm... No, it's... <laughs> It's just that, no, get a job I'm, I'm, genuinely, I'm genuinely asking because anything- You know what I mean? This is why I have no problem dissecting this conversation because they're actively making fun of regular conventional jobs. The way he's like, well, I'll get a job at Lululemon. Like, they're making fun of people who are in regular jobs, which is why I have no, fun, no problem making fun of them. Don't complain about it. I'm so broke, I'm so broke, but then you're making fun of people's regular jobs. That's what this is. The comments are like, why doesn't he like work like a real job? Like this right. isn't me saying this as a negative thing. Yes, I'm yes, just no, totally asking. Please. Yeah, yeah. Why don't I get a real job? No. <laughs> is that your question? No, 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 no. You know what? Not to be offensive or anything, but why don't you give <laughs> up? No, that's why not. Don't you give up? Up? That's really not. I'm genuinely asking because this is the comments I see. I know why you do it. Yeah. But like, say that it's okay. You know what? Just label it that, like that. Why don't you get a real job? Uh. I don't have any skills. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <And> see people? <laughs> I don't. See, that's why. Someone someone said that the other day. Why don't you get into real estate? I'm like. I hate it. I don't have a real Bo, estate license. Bo Granny? What's his name? Do you have any interests um, <laughs> outside of entertainment? Um, no. Okay. I big, mean, I, I don't. golfer? I can't golf. Okay. <laughs> what would I, what would I do? <laughs> You know, I was about to say live stream it, but no, never mind. I, mean, I, I hope you know that didn't come off as like a negative thing. I no, was no, no. I, I like what you're doing. You're you're posing the question of what everyone's thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is good. <laughs> <laughs> what a piece. Of you're guy. saying <laughs> what on, is on everybody's mind. I'm just. Yeah. I, I saw I saw a comment. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna ask him because people are you know I don't know. I just see it's it as straight talking Zach. You know. Yeah. yeah. This is yeah. so miserable. This is so miserable. Again, it has this connotation of diminishing people who are in conventional jobs, which is why I have no problem shitting on it. Also, it's not a job to sit on TikTok Live and beg for money. He is using the word entertain incredibly loosely. Incredibly loosely. <sighs> Let's talk about it down below. I want to know your thoughts. I'll see you in the comment section. Donate, donate, donate. Send me money, send me. Bye.